Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to tell you about how to install Morrowind on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip and I've been experimenting with various Elder Scrolls games over the last few days and I've tried Skyrim and Oblivion and I've been running them through Crossover and unfortunately they don't really have good enough performance to be able to play properly on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, there is one game which is Morrowind, which is slightly older, but has very good performance on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. OpenMW is going to be the tool that we use, and when we run this game on Apple Silicon, we'll be running through Rosetta 2, but it still works really quite well. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the OpenMW website and read through the instructions here. And I'll also be linking directly to the GitHub, which is where the binaries are released. From this page itself, what you can do is scroll all the way down and then you'll get to a list of binaries that you can download. So the one that we are interested in is the OpenMW with the DMG file, which is the Mac file. So if I click on this now, we'll just download this file. If you go to your downloads folder and open up the OpenMW DMG file, you'll see the inside of the folder and what we'll do is we'll copy both of these into the applications folder. Double click on applications, find OpenMW. So we're gonna double click this. And what we're gonna do next is to go to system preferences, cancel that, go to security and privacy, go to the general tab, and then open up OpenMW. So when we double click OpenMW, it's gonna ask us to run the installation wizard. So we'll do that now. And then we'll click next. And then we're going to click on existing installation. So at this stage, what we need to do is to find our copy of Morrowind. So we need to have a legal copy of the game. This can be either a DVD or a CD copy of the game, or we can find a copy of the game on Steam. So if you own Morrowind on Steam, what you can do is to use Crossover in order to download the files that we need to run in OpenMW. And if you just go to my link in the top right hand side of the screen, it'll teach you how to install Steam and Crossover. So once you've followed my tutorial, we will have a Crossover window similar to this. And what we can do is um, double click on Steam, log in, and then download the Morrowind files to your computer. So I happen to have my files here on my external drive, which is where I've been downloading all my Windows crossover Steam games to. And so what I'm gonna do is double click on here, just make sure that the data files are in the correct place. And once we've downloaded them, what we can do is point our OpenMW to this particular folder. So I'm gonna click browse and then go to the Steam library I've created on my external solid state drive, go to common and then find the Morrowind folder here. When I double click on it and then double click on data files, the relevant data files are here. So I'm gonna load morrowind.esm and, and then I'm gonna click next in OpenMW. I'm gonna import all these settings and click finish. So once that's complete, what we can do is then customize a few of the settings. So for example, we've got various graphic settings, various language settings and various tweaks that OpenMW offers. But what I'm gonna do now is just press play and continue the game. So as you can see, I've loaded up the very first area and it runs beautifully. It's completely playable. And this way of playing the game is gonna give you the best performance and the best compatibility. And there are modders right now improving and bug fixing every aspect of this game. So I do recommend using this way to play the game. If you're interested in seeing more gameplay, please click on the end card and I'll be showing off one of my normal benchmark gameplay videos. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.